In this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to make some striking black and white conversions from your color shots. So let's click on this particular supplied image and pop up to edit and go down to edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. Now our first stop is going to be the quick editing mode because the new effects panel in quick editing mode in Elements 12 has a black and white thumbnail which you can then use to convert your shot to black and white in a click. That's this one here, so if we click to select that it's going to create a fairly striking monochrome version of the shot. You can see that the clouds are standing out nicely against the background details there of the sky. These areas here are a little bit merged together but it's pretty good but there are more effective ways to create monochrome conversions so I'm going to pop up to edit and just undo our quick effect and take us into the expert editing mode for more control over our monochrome conversions. Now the most obvious way to create a black and white version of an image is to chuck out all the colour information and you can do that by going up to enhance, going down to adjust colour and then going to remove colour and that gives you a version that looks like this. It's rather drab and bland, some of the details aren't really standing out in contrast with other grayscale tones so it's not a particularly striking looking shot compared to the results that we can get with other commands. So let me show you something that's much more powerful and gives you much more control over your black and white conversions. So before demonstrating this new technique, I'm just going to go up to Edit and Undo Remove Colour. So let's pop up to Enhance and go down to Convert to Black and White. And this command gives us a handy before and after preview of our shot and it gives us a variety of styles as well. And these styles change the position of the red, green and blue sliders to lighten or darken particular tones depending on the original colour in the start image. And that gives you a variety of dramatically different black and white conversions. Now you could adjust the intensity sliders manually but there's a danger of producing clipped shadows with no detail or blown out highlights that have no detail either and so what we're going to do is use these presets to create safe adjustments that keep our details visible. If I move over here you can see that we've got red 60, green 28 and blue 12. So these settings here are all adding up to 100 and that means we don't clip any highlights or shadows. That's just a good tip for you. And if I go to portraits it's swapping the sliders around. You can see it's much lighter in the sky now and that gives us 25, 39 and 36. Again those values add up to 100. Now this one here is the infrared effect that mimics a film technique which lightens vegetation and that's a great way of making these grassy areas stand out much more effectively against the water and it also dramatically darkens the skies and makes the clouds stand out even more and again the values are adding up to 100 so we know we've got detail in all of the shadows, midtones and highlights. So depending on the colours in your start image you can try these different presets out quite happily and you'll see one that will suit your shot. In this case I like this striking version here so I'm going to click OK to apply the change. So thanks to the convert to black and white command we have a much more convincing black and white version. You've got details like this lighter landscape standing out against the water, the mountain stands out against the lighter sky and these light clouds stand out against a dramatic dark sky so that's really suiting the landscape and bringing out the shapes and textures in it.